We are now just under 2,000 cases, 2,000, as we hit week 25 of who's making news for sex crimes involving children. And I'm noticing one category that seems to be on the rise. This week's data includes 12 children who met the person who would later sexually assault them via various social media networks. And no, there is no one app that is any better or worse than the others. This week's offenders, out of 181 new cases, five evangelical pastors, six Mormon leaders, and eight Catholic priests, some of whom made news for civil suits filed seeking justice for abuse that took place long ago. For a change, employees of the religion industry were actually outnumbered by 10 coaches and nine teachers. I guess it's back to school time. We have the usual heavy concentration of family members, friends, and neighbors. They seem to be consistently the biggest single grouping. And for the first time in a while, politicians stayed entirely out of the statistics, which is exactly where drag queens have been since I started 25 weeks ago. Not a single drag queen. And this week, yet again, not a single transgender person either. Out of 1,957 cases, exactly three have had transgender offenders. That's just over 15 one hundredths of 1% of the cases. You say you don't believe it. The numbers must be slanted or cherry picked. Well, download the data yourself and see. It's at whoismakingnews.com. And if you find a case that either I missed or mischaracterized, there's a contact on the site, you can send it in. And if it's verifiable, I'll change it or add it, whatever we need. That's because the facts don't care about your feelings or mine. They are just facts.